He jumped out of a plane from 25,000 feet without a parachute. If anything goes wrong, there's no plan B. When you jump from a plane, the first five to eight seconds are chaos. Airspeed builds fast and your body can start tumbling uncontrollably. That's where his team comes in. Three crew members jumped with him, each with a parachute to keep him stable and on course. But wait, they're all falling too. How can anyone help at 120 miles per hour? Experienced skydivers fly in formation using precise body postures to create a stable air pocket around one another. Luke reads their positions like a pilot reads instruments, matching their angle using tiny arm and leg shifts to stop tumbling. At this altitude, the air's too thin. Blackout can hit in seconds. Halfway down, around 15,000 feet, he takes a huge risk, removing the mask and handing it over mid-air. Why? Because below that height, the air's finally thick enough to breathe, but now he's completely alone. He's plummeting toward Earth at nearly 120 miles per hour, steering only with his body. On the ground, engineers wait beside a net about the size of two basketball courts. Woven from spectra fibers stronger than steel, held aloft by cranes with air dampers ready to absorb impact. But how can anyone hit such a small target from five miles up? Before the jump, his team modeled winds, exit angle and drift from months. Even one degree off means missing the net and certain death. At 2,000 feet, the net finally appears, a glowing rectangle of hope or doom. He flips onto his back because the human body survives higher g-forces that way. One mistake now and it's over. Impact. The net absorbs over 100,000 joules of energy, slowing him gently. He climbs out alive. 